I'm happy to support this bill going to the next stage. Thank you. I call Gareth Hughes. Uh, kia ora, Mr. Speaker. Nā mi, nā mihi nui kia koutou. Oh, I'll take this mic. Uh, kia ora, Mr. Speaker. Nā mihi nui kia koutou. Kia ora. Look, I rise to support this legislation. We want to see that uh, all New Zealanders get access to high quality, reliable uh, financial advice. We'd put it that this legislation is overdue. There were two reviews that MB conducted in 2008 and 2016. We're glad to see this legislation introduced to the House. We need to make sure that the public interest is protected with a group of advisers who are giving significant advice to people. We've seen some high-profile examples over the last 10 years where people have lost a huge amount of money because of uh, situations like these. One area in particular I'm quite interested in exploring in the select committee uh, process is the provision of digital or what's called robo-advice and some of the briefing documents. Exploring that in detail I think this can be quite important. I want to give the, a little story. My wife um, used to work in book publishing, now works in the um, IT computer software development sector in Wellington. An area she's really focused on the last year is chatbots which is not full artificial intelligence, but building algorithms so that the bot can communicate uh, with the person communicating with it. You can see an example with financial services management where it's cheaper to provide, basically to build an algorithm, to have it learn from some of the conversations it's been having than employing you know, uh, people as financial service advisors. Now, how that applies to a consumer who maybe gets faulty advice is going to be critically important. Who's the responsible party uh, that can be held liable if bad advice is given? Is it the code writer? Is it the people who have been monitoring and updating the algorithm? Uh, is it the agency that owns the algorithm? Huge questions which uh, we're lo looking forward to exploring in the select committee. We do question how moving information disclosure requirements from legislation into regulations is going to work in practice. Is that the appropriate balance that has been struck? But all in all, a positive step forward. We welcome the introduction to the House. We look forward to the select committee process and submissions and improving the legislation in that forum if it needs to be. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I call Willow Jean Pryor. Okay, cool. Kia ora, Mr.